Okay, so far I've decided that I'm just going to keep it a little bit under wraps. I'll show you a portion of it and what I'm going to start on. And uh, if you're interested, just let me know in the comments down below or whatever, however this YouTube thing works, what you think a good idea would be to do with it. Whether it's just, um, well basically what I'm going to do is a conversion from an inboard to an outboard. So this thing had no motor on it. It's a 16 footer. Obviously it's all tarped up right now, but I got this Mercury, they call it Tower of Power 90 horse Merc. Got it off a friend of mine for 500 bucks. I just got this light here, so. Anyways, the boat came with no engine in it, no leg, no nothing, it was just a hull and Yeah, got the got this motor for a pretty good price. I bought this trailer here off my neighbor for 500 bucks, and it was actually the perfect fit for this boat. <laughs> so for a thousand bucks so far, and a little bit of elbow grease, just have to get this uh, conversion done. Just swing around to the other side. It's actually in pretty decent shape. There's a couple a couple spots where somebody did some body work, but. As long as it's not leaking water, we're good. And it needs some elbow grease for sure, but my neighbor has a body shop, so hopefully he can give me a good paint job on it. And uh, yeah, like I said, this Merc here is in pretty decent shape. It's not huge horsepower or anything, but it'll do. It originally was, a, I think, a 3.8 OMC from the research I did on the internet. There was a 3.8 OMC engine in here. It's a V6. came with an OMC leg. I can tell by the size of the, the opening here, this boot. There's not too many with that same. There are always 3.8 OMCs for the most part. Peel it open here. I'll just show you a little bit for now just to keep you in suspense. Got a good tarp here from Costco for 127 bucks. Can't beat that, it keeps the animals out at least. Although my cat does know how to get in here when I'm not looking. So that stringer over there is only as long as it looks, about three feet. And it's basically all it was was for the motor to hold that old motor in there. And I think the reason why they got rid of it was probably they took the motor out because this one stringer over there was rotten. So I had to cut that all out. And then I was trying to figure out, there's a bench that goes right here, a bench seat, I'll show you that later. And then there's a couple dividers like right here and then one on the other side. And then there's a nice platform type, uh, what do you call that? Like a, like a mattress almost, it looks like up there. I have to get that reupholstered a little bit. But other than that, everything is in good shape. I checked all the floor. I won't show it to you now, but there's all the floor is good. I'm gonna probably replace the carpet, but I'm just wondering if it's gonna be worth it or not to do all that. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut out that fiberglass there and just that little strip that goes along this way. And then I'm gonna probably get some aluminum brackets made up for the inside. Got a welder coming to look at it tomorrow to, to uh, build some legs, some aluminum legs to go up to the plate on the back. And then we're just going to cover that hole with either a one inch plywood, like the full width, and then just kind of go down and then around, cover the hole, seal it off really well. And then there'll be a lot of strength going across the transom, the existing transom here. And then on the outside, the plan is to... And I'll probably post a picture of other boats that I see, but to build a transom. So basically right along here, there's going to be like a swim, swim pad or whatever you call that. A swim deck. And then it's going to come out basically around. So basically the motor is actually going to sit about that far off the boat. And then this wooden bracket that my friend built. That's basically what the uh, new transom is going to be look look like that. But there's going to be a swim platform, like I said, right in this area here. Put some nice cedar planks, and then probably I don't know how that's going to be dished out, but I'll get the welder to take a look at it. 
and basically just make it fit. Now most of the boats that I've seen with this style, like this is originally an inboard, but I'm converting it to an outboard, so it gives it a little more performance because it's a longer, first of all, it's gonna be about two feet longer. That's 24 inch span there between the boat and the, so it's gonna be an extra two feet of boat and then the transom will match the, the line of the bottom of the boat or maybe six inches up, something like that. And then it'll just basically be an extension of the boat, turn it into a uh, sweet little outboard motor. There'll be less noise inside the, uh, inside the cabin here. Whatever you call it, fuselage, cabin, hull, and uh, no smoke, no fumes. It'll be actually a lot cleaner. I'll get rid of all that carpet. And uh, yeah, so basically, I want I want to make it really strong on the existing transom from the out from the inside to the outside. So I'm going to build it, get them to build it along here, and then go up. Use the existing holes from where the ski toe was. And then go back down and across and then basically the plate will come all the way down to the bottom here it'll seal off and then i was thinking maybe inside that i could do like a live well thing or maybe even down inside here get the welder to just make a little aluminum insert there for like a little live well for fishing because that's where the old motor was but not going to need it anymore so anyways if you have any ideas let me know in the comments and we'll go from there and I'm just going to show you how to cut out some of this fiberglass and then show you where I'm going to put these brackets. Talk to you later.